If you're struggling with your consistency, what you'll see is these sections being miles apart. So that's another thing that you can utilize is, is something as simple as timing. Time is a weird thing in the sense that you can actually do a good lap and get an awful lot wrong. And you think, it's okay, I've improved time-wise, but you potentially could be slower in quite a few sections than blindingly fast in another section. And that doesn't show up in the time frame, but it will show up in the data. The more hands on you get, the kind of the easier it comes. The average track day, you've got quite a bit of time between the sessions anyway, so it's not like you know you haven't got a time. You have, you've got to make time. And if you have it mapped out, so you, you're doing it right, you come, you obviously come in, tie all my on, check your pressures, fuel the bike up, hydrate, have a sit down, plug your chip in, download it, and then you've got then sort of easily half an hour to have a little look at the data from the lap you've just done, compare it against a comparable lap. What I'm happy about here is looking at other traces, that's a much flatter curve. Now I know normally that's not good, you want to be like that, drive to a break but turn one, two and three are all kind of together and what was happening, I was having a peak and then it dropped off. But that shows that I'm actually slightly faster through the corner as a whole, even though my terminal speed is only 258.9.